Hi, I'm Brett Pike, Amazon number one best-selling author, and this is Classical Learner Homeschooling. So today we're going to talk about educating proficient writers. And it really starts in early childhood, and we're going to go all the way through the high school years and what you should do as a parent and how you can really educate your child not only to be a good writer, but to be a published author before they're 18 years old. I've worked with families that I've set on this path, and it's definitely something you can do as well. So to start, early childhood is all about fine motor activities. Some of the things you can do are activities with clothing pins, where you give your child a clothing pin and you have them pick up a little pom-pom ball or something tiny, because it's working on those fine motor skills. One of the things I like to do with my son is play the game Hi-Ho the Cherryo, and he takes the little cherries and he has to put them in their proper location. Anything to build up those small muscle movements. Once you do that, you can start with pre-writing. They make cheap $3 books you could buy on Amazon where you're really just tracing from point A to point B. As your children start to advance, they can start to trace numbers and letters and things of that nature. And of course, you could do lots of scribbling, lots of coloring, lots of drawing, whatever it might be. But once you get through the basics and your child's in elementary school, so many children fall into the trap in which they hate writing by the time they're in fifth grade, and it's a real travesty. And in my opinion, especially with early childhood writing, you just want to let your children be as creative as possible because children love to be creative, they are creative, and it doesn't make sense to fight that. And there are multiple ways you can do that. You can do fun, creative writing assignments. You can tell stories in which you write some of the story and they write some of the story. You can let them write a journal, a diary, whatever it might be. The most important part isn't what they write, but what you do after they write, which is what doesn't happen in public school. Because in public school, Children complete their writing assignments. Usually they're compulsory. They don't like it. They're not excited about doing it. They hand their paper into the teacher and they get that paper back with a letter grade saying, you got a B and a big red pen. Well, what does that teach the child? They certainly don't become better at writing. It might hurt their self-esteem or if they got an A, maybe it will improve their self-esteem, but they're not getting better at writing either way. The most important thing we can do as parent educators is form the habit in our children of being their own editor. So when your child writes their diary or their journal or their creative writing assignment, what I want you to do is sit down with them. You can do this once a day. You can do this really once a week is plenty. Sit down with them, read over their own writing, point out the topic sentence, point out the thesis, point out the body. This is the argument you made. This is how you backed it up with certain points. Focus on the grammar. This is where the period went. You could have put a comma here and transformed the sentence. Or maybe we're using run-on sentences. So you show them how different strategies they can use to break up those sentences, whether that's with a period, with a comma, with a semicolon. But the important thing is they are formulating the habit of editing their own writing. And by doing that, you will enter the idea, you will enter the concept of grammar and writing styles, literary styles, into their consciousness so they start to become more aware of it and they'll start to improve as a writer over time. They will also begin to pick up on the different literary styles of the authors that they read because when they formulate the habit of editing their own work from a young age, they don't just skim over periods without thinking about it. They notice this is where the period went or this is how the author used the topic sentence or this is how the author put together a conclusion and really tied a knot around the argument or the story or whatever it is that your child is reading. So formulating the habit of editing your own work is the most important thing you can do in terms of educating your child to be a proficient writer outside of course of keeping writing fun, allowing your children to be creative, because when you put those ingredients together as your child gets older, they will find themselves in a position where they are creative writers, they enjoy doing it, they're writing stories, 
And then we can talk about publishing books through platforms like Amazon, KDP. There's no limit to what our children can do. We just, or the system turns everything into rote activities and tells children that you'll find a way to be successful when you're 22, 23 years old. Well, we as homeschool educators, we accelerate that process. Now, a couple of programs that I really like for elementary school students um, and really middle school students and beyond um, is the Nighttime Zookeeper. You could go to their website, nighttimezookeeper.com. Very interactive. They have um, video stories that the children engage with and they're prompted to write their own creative stories. And then my favorite program for maybe fifth grade and higher, and you can do this all the way up through high school, is the Creative Writer Series. It's a four-part series that takes children through the journey from rudimentary writer to being a published author. And it goes through the different elements of story and it prompts children to write their own creative stories throughout the course of the curriculum, which is what it really is. It's essentially a four-year writing curriculum that at the end, your child should be prepared to not only publish books, but to really write entire novels. That's how effective this series is. Now, outside of that, let's say you have a child that is into art, that likes to write short poems. Maybe they're eight, nine, 10 years old, short creative stories. You can get them published on a site like Amazon KDP. It doesn't cost any money or much money at all. And it's certainly something you could look into doing and it's something I'm going to make videos on in the future. This is Classical Learner. If you are interested in joining my private homeschool community, it's Homeschools Connected. You can check that out at www.classicallearner.com. Please hit the like button and share. It really helps me with the algorithm. Freedom isn't free. We have to earn it every day and I'll be back to earn it.